What's up guys? It's your boy, BoxBoy33, back with another video today. This time, we're wearing hats to try to look cool. And it goddamn works. Today we're opening up a box of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh set. And when I'm talking brand new, I'm talking brand spanking new, baby. Like this set just releases this weekend, just in time for nationals. Everybody's excited to get their hands on it. Lots of cool cards in this set. A couple of which that actually might surprisingly shake up the meta. So we're going to bust open a box of Battle of Legends, Relentless Revenge, and we're going to see what we pull. So last time on the Box Boy 33 show when we were opening packs, we required the assistance of some scissors. Let's see if we're going to be needing that help today. I, I sure do not hope so. The thing is with Battle of Legends, Relentless Revenge, it has a lot to live up to. With its last one, Battle of Legends, Light Revenge, I think it was called, uh, it had just it was an incredible pack with lots of really great reprints and a lot of cards that a lot of people were looking to get their hands on things that hadn't been reprinted before like Mermel, Abyss, Teus and stuff and I'm sure there were a lot more like Minerva was the prize card of the set that a lot of people wanted uh, but it was really difficult to get those hands on your card those your hands on those cards and having those reprinted just made for an incredible box this one I know a lot of people want to say falls short but it still has ca cards like Golden Castle of Stromberg and Iron Knight which I think are just incredible cards and also Gumbler Dragon which is that is that the that is the cover card uh great card by the way i'm excited to yam people's hands with that oh look at that perfect combo breaker just easily pop that open uh oh okay secret rares on top we got monster reborn secret rare looks really really pretty uh torrential tribute and ultra rare i don't even remember this was in the set it's kind of cool slash draw i have no idea what this card does but i'm probably not going to read the whole thing Oh yeah, it's bad, okay. Ooh, Psyframe Driver in Ultra Rare. It's good to have this guy in Hollow, And then Bottomless Trap Pool in Ultra Rare. I don't know how to really divvy these up. I know there's not a lot of great Ultra Rares, but I'll put Secrets to the side and Ultras over, over out of frame. Fuck Ultras. So now that Secrets are on the top, I think it'd be cool if we just yam that there. So now it adds a little bit of suspense, make the video a little bit more interesting. Iron Cage. Uh, this is for the Golden Castle of Stromberg. Tenma, the Sky Star. I don't even know what this card is. Duelist Alliance in Ultra Rare. Doesn't live up to the Secret Rare version for sure. Litmus Doom Swordsman. And the Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. Okay. These, uh, the Phantom Knights apparently got reprinted in Secret Rare. That's going to look pretty pretty. But this comes in Ultra Rare, and I think that actually looks... Nah, the Secret Rare looks cooler. Who the fuck am I kidding? What do I want from this set? I don't think I want anything in particular. I'm cracking a box for Cam. But uh, cool things to pull would be Gumbler Dragon. Gun, gun, Gumbler Dragon. Yeah, I forgot to put this on the bottom. Damn it. Cyber Emergency. Uh, that's kind of sick. Uh, I know they get a, um, a Power Bond Searcher in this set. What's kind of cool. I think it's in this set. It should be at least if that's in there. Uh, World Legacy Discovery. An ultra rare. Crabby card. Uh, Litmus Doom Ritual, that's to summon our Litmus Doom uh, Swordsman Do. TG Wonder Magician, a lot of people were shocked when this got reprinted in the set because a lot of people were expecting, oh, Needle Fiber is going to yam in this set. Tough shit, no it didn't. And then Guy Saber the Lightning Storm. So, back to what I was wanting. I'd want uh, Gumbler Dragon, I want the Golden Castle of Stromberg, I think those are two of the most chase cards. Gamma Seal and Secret Rare is going to look really pretty, I hope I pull that. Unizombies and Ultra Rare in the set too, which is pretty dope. Uh, Iron Hans, this is part of the Golden Castle of Stromberg combo. Uh, this card's actually just crazy. Just its first line of text is insane because if it's summoned, you special summon Iron Knight. So you can use Golden Castle, Golden Castle effects, summon Iron Hans. Iron Hans, get Iron Knight. And then Iron Knight searches any warrior from your deck to your hand. So that just doesn't sound fair. Foolish Burial Goods coming in with another reprint that nobody asked for. Uh, Neo Spacing, Dark Panther, Noble Knight Brothers, and oh, Union Hanger and Secret Rare. That looks really pretty in Secret Rare. I'm impressed. It came out in Super Rare National Pack, and I thought that was the pinnacle of what we were going to reach, but hey, I was wrong. Secret Rare looks damn pretty. I'm recovering from allergies right now. I fucking hate allergies, and I also fucking hate the fact that I keep forgetting to put the Secret Rare on the bottom. But, Dragonic Diagram, that's a really sick pull. Rainbow Dark Dragon, Noble Knight Madrot, Pumpkin Carriage, and Trickstar, Knack, and Knack, and Knack, and Knack, and Knack, Back Boot. I'm not gonna fuck it up this time, I promise. I got this one, I got it unlocked. Solemn Strike, Banishment of the Dark Lords, the Kaiju Files, Perform Mage Damage Juggler, oh, look at that, it's in Hollow now, that's sick. And Flash Charge Dragon. I don't know what this card does. All right, all right, all right, ooh, ooh, I almost fucked up. 
There we go. Yeah. Eater, oh, Eater of Millions, Ultra Rare. I was dying to see how this looked. And it does not disappoint. Fucking great card. Uh, Pyrorex, the Elemental Lord. Michion, the Time Lord. Kyoto, Waterfront. That looks pretty in Ultra Rare, too. And Card Trooper in Secret Rare. Maybe just me, but I prefer the Supers and the Jump Promo Ultra. All right, Altergeist, Manifestation. Imduk, the World Chalice Dragon. Dark Lord Enchantment. Here's the Iron Knight I was talking about. If Golden Castle Strongmark is in a field spell zone, you can add one warrior monster from your deck to your hand instead. Hey, that's not okay. And then the Secret Rares, Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. All right, kind of cool reprint to have though. I know this card's been flexing in price. A lot of people want to pick it up just because it's a good, I, I guess it's a good trap card. Set it and negate an effect. I just sounded like a big moron when I'm discussing that. <laughs> I don't, that's exactly what the card does. I, I, Unizombie, Ultra Rare, hey. I bet DZ has the biggest chub right now. Unending Nightmare, Convert Contact, Kaiki, the Unity Star, and Galaxy Eyes, Photon Lead. New Photon support, it's kind of cool. That guy's pretty cool. I guess I'll bring it in close for you guys. And then you guys want to see his, his sexy bod. We're almost through half the box here. I'm moving at a snail's pace, I feel like. Now we can start turboing through. Oh, damn it, I did it again. Cyber Elaton, Medion, Cyber Dragon, and Full Metal Flow, Alchemist. All right, all right, all right. Show me the money. Number 41, Baguska. Halon, the Time Lord. Hayate, the Earth Star. Windrose, the Elemental Lord. And our secret rare is... Oh, Elemental Hero, not on it. It's Neos. Blah, I can't fucking talk. This card hadn't been reprinted in a while, and it actually is oddly expensive, but nobody plays Elemental Heroes. So if you're an Elemental Hero fanatic, you can now get these things a little bit cheaper. Which I guess nobody is complaining about. All right, last pack on the right side. Let's see if we can pull something good. I'm not waiting for it. We're just going. Iron Draw. Yeah, that's a little disappointing. Iron Cage, Born from Dragons, and Savion, the Time Lord. Oh, uh, Princessin, or Cinderella, as it should have been called. I don't know if people actually play this one in the deck. Uh, I know the engine is just literally Iron Knight and then Golden Castle and then Iron Hans because those are the good ones. But hey, pre prep for my Trick Clown, Altergeist, Hextia, and Cyber Lair. Still nothing actually that's going to blow my socks off that I've pulled so far. Golden Castle would be nutty, It'd be crazy, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, what is that? Infinite Machine, more uh, Elemental Lord, not Elemental Lord, uh, uh, Time Lord support, one of the Lords. Solemn Judgment. Banishment, World Legacy Heart, and another Damage Juggler. Man, this box has been overall disappointing, I think, so far. Maybe it's just the fact that there's nothing really... Oh, damn it. There's nothing really good reprints, but hey. I think some people actually look at this card here. Borgard Dragon is okay. I just want Gumbler Dragon, at least. Gumbler Dragon's not even that expensive. It's like 25 bucks, so it's, it's like nothing like out of this world. Oragoth the Relentless. I've never seen this card in my life. Holy shit. Oh, you roll a die and it does things. Okay, so it's... Bad. Uh, 8010, the Conqueror Star, Narito, the Moral Leader, Raphion, and another Kyoto Waffer. Golden Castle. Golden Castle. Yeah! God damn it. We're getting to the point where you guys are already seeing all the other Ultra Rares. I hate that point in the box. It's actually okay because then I can start skipping through a little bit quicker and just get into the good stuff. Like, like, hey, that's different. Oh, is this like the Dark Witch, I guess? Once per turn. It's different, but it's not good. I don't know. I try to keep these things shorter for brevity. Like, I'd edit them down. But you guys can give me your opinions if you'd rather just see me do it raw and unedited. Like, if you want to see me read out the entire effect of glorious numbers, which you could probably do yourself if you pause the video. But I don't know what you guys prefer, so let me know, I guess. And then you can see I pulled Neospace and Grandmole and other cards that don't really make me that happy box is winding down and I'm still not pleased. Another princess in. All right. I don't know. I think the set definitely fell short for a lot of people's expectations. I think an Ash Blossom reprint would have been nice. Uh, Tornado Dragon got a reprint, which this card wasn't worth too much, but it got a, a reprint from Secret Rare to Secret Rare. So yeah, I think there was a lot of reprints that missed the mark. Like there was a lot of, uh, a lot of, God damn it. There was a lot of uh, potential that this set had, but it fell short compared to the last Battle of Legends, which definitely was absolutely insane with a lot of the reprints. Like Minerva in that box was crazy, and then Teus had never gotten a reprint until then. That's a really cool one. Uh, those are just two of the ones that really make... Are you serious? I literally pulled two Mer Merlins back to back. I'm 
I'm so genuinely upset. Oh, and look at that. Wow, we're down to actually the last pack. I am very thrilled to hopefully pull nothing. This box has been absolute garbage. I at least hope to see one golden castle or at least try to see one decent card. I didn't even see like something like Gamma Seal in Secret Rare, which was something I was looking for, but we still have one pack left. I guess I can't, this, uh, you know what? We pulled Diagram. I guess that's okay in some people's eyes. That's so far, this is top dog. Can this pack beat it? All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this right. We're gonna stick this baby on the back. We're gonna go super slow. I'm gonna give you guys the most suspense. And uh, yeah, if I pull anything decent, subscribe to the channel, uh, and you might have a chance to not win it. Also, if I don't pull anything good, just subscribe anyways, because that's that's super nice. Thanks. All right, Alter Guys Manifestation. Oh, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, preparation of rights. Shura, the Combat Star. Guy Saber, Lightning Shadow. Okay, it's an effect monster. There's no good effect monsters that I can think of. El God damn it, we already pulled this shit. This box has been absolutely abusive towards me. I just want to pull different cards at least. I don't want to pull doubles of this garbage. Well, I mean, we got a little bit unlucky. I guess these cards are still worth a pretty penny because this is their first reprint. I'm, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be pessimistic, however, and say that these cards aren't gonna be worth much uh, just a couple weeks from now, because that's normally how it goes with these sets. Once you get a couple of these sets in rotation, people start buying them and reselling them. These prices just tank, and um, these aren't even the short prints. Like, the short prints were like Golden Castle and then Gumbler Dragon. Gumbler Dragon actually wasn't a short print, so that's surprising I didn't pull this. The only one I remember was Golden Castle was definitely a short print, according to Italian Yu-Gi-Oh. Again, I'm not the most authoritative source for that, but that's what they said. I believe it, as I pulled nothing but junk. Overall, this set, I think, is a huge letdown. I think there's a lot of things missed, a lot of missed potential. Some cool things like Unizombie getting ultra rares, dope, and then, you know, Gamma Seal getting a secret rare reprint, I think is also pretty cool. That card's oddly still expensive, even though it's had a super rare and it was printed in rare originally. Let me know what you guys think of the new Battle of Legends set down in the comment section below. Do you think you'll purchase some and see if you can test your luck? Uh, do you think Golden Castle is going to be that next level meta shit? Because I sure do. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, definitely subscribe, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, definitely subscribe. Nim Nim, signing out. Whoosh.